and they call the Abrahamic faiths. Mm -hmm. Judaism as the first, and then Islam and Christianity. Mm -hmm. Abraham was the guy. But Abraham, like I said, gave birth to like a Muhammad, gave birth to a Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do, we don't know who will become big. It can be you, it can be me, it can be someone out there. We need to try and birth as many influential people as possible that are positive and that want people to live better. That are not out there to like colonize people's minds so that we can milk and suck them dry and turn them into slaves. Where you and I are becoming rich and powerful and these godlike, king-like figures. Mm -hmm. But when you look at all our followers, the people are struggling, they're struggling. and they're depressed they don't have much, yeah. and they're hungry. And mm -hmm. like, you want to inspire the type of people who are like, I don't care if I live in a little shack mm -hmm. uh, with my little family, but I follow this guy and he means everything to me because we are happy and we, are, we, we can feed ourselves and we don't have to worship other people. We can yeah. only worship because I believe in Ulungelo. Mm -hmm. He reminds me to worship self and that's power for me. Like it's, it's the ultimate form of empowerment. And I think that's what Jesus was trying to do. Mm -hmm. He was trying to be like, just love yourself, believe in yourself. And that's actually why he had to be taken out because he was assassinated. <laughs> like Tupac, like Malcolm X, you know. Not assassination. <laughs> nigga, nigga was taken out. <laughs> it's <too> late. <laughs> well, he was assassinated on a cross to yeah. make sure that people don't fuck around. That's, that's true cancel culture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like oh, Gaddafi and Abu Saddam Hussein. Ugozi, everybody must see. Yeah. Ugozi, peak don't cancellation. Fuck around. Yeah, peak yeah. cancellation. Um, and that's why I love him. But he was trying to tell people like the greatness is new. Mm -hmm. And somewhere along the line, people were like, let's take the story. Lungelo's got a great podcast. Let's say no, guys, but do you realize what he was promoting? And you're like, that's, that was never my intention. Mm. I was actually trying to unlock minds to get people to understand that they are fundamentally great. But what about all these great, great, and by the use of word great, I mean influential, powerful pastors like the names you've mentioned, who have gone to have illustrious careers through yeah. the Jesus story, right? Yeah. Uh, and according to you, they've distorted the, the Jesus story. And the, the narrative that they're going with is not necessarily what Jesus was trying to represent. Yeah. Because you are saying Jesus was saying, see the God within you. Yeah. You are God, and in you understanding your godliness, you can activate, understand, do anything, mm -hmm. right? Uh, coming back to Penuelism, Upenuel has faults. These partners have faults. They are becoming great. How are you going to be different to them? Aren't you just starting a cult that doesn't have a name that says Christianity within it? Sure. So, so I'm not shading the pastors. Yo, niggas must pull out of control if that's what they want. Um, the supposed wisest man in the Bible is King Solomon. Mm -hmm. Number one, King Solomon had a lot of wives. Mm -hmm. So he was a polygamist. Uh, he had a lot of bitches. He had concubines. <laughs> um, so when people are like, oh, polygamy, you're like, well, the wisest man in the Bible was, was Keeping actually... the bitches rolling. Was fucking the house. <laughs> um, on top of that, Solomon was extremely wealthy. You know, so it's not up to me to actually judge the pastors. Which, look, if I'm a servant of God, should I be poor? Mm -hmm. Even a story like with Job who was tested when God and Satan were arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know, he was also a wealthy man. So I don't want to shade the pastors for whatever they're doing. Um, there's a problem, obviously, when they're hypocritical. If maybe, and there's a common joke of um, when the church needs something, when the pastor needs something, we have to give them money. And when the congregants need something, they the pastor prayer. tells them to pray. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm not, I'm not shading them. They must, they must yeah. do what makes them happy. Mm. Um, people follow those pastors for their own reasons. T.D. Jakes is an amazing speaker. Mm -hmm. I follow him, even though I'm not Christian. The late Dr. Miles Monroe. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Wisdom, leadership incredible. principles yeah. of note. Incredible. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that Miles Monroe had a private jet and whatever, maybe it's just helped him get to his people quicker. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. Um, there's, there's nothing wrong with them, I think, making money because I think they do more. I stand to be corrected, but I think they do more for their communities than Definitely. the money they spend. So yes. if I've got a million followers... And they each give me 10 bucks. That's 10 million rand. If I'm living on 1 million rand a month, I'm only living on 10%. And the other 9 million is building infrastructure, creating jobs, giving back to the community. You know, it's just obviously, again, there's a narrative that was pushed that this is evil and it's bad, whatever. Um, I am building a cult. And that's, that's a fact. Because Jesus was a cult figure when he started out. You know, that's, that's why he was killed. And then he ended up being celebrated. But cult plus time equals religion. So I just have to give it time. I get you. Yeah. And the cool thing about me with Jesus, with even uh, Muhammad, with someone like Buddha that I don't speak about enough. Buddha was a really, really cool gent. Came from a rich family. 
decided to let go of his money, um, traveled, found, found the God within. Um, and then he came out and he wrote books and people read, you know, the, the, the writings of Buddha. Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, these guys were minimalists. They lived on very little. Mm -hmm. So it is funny when a pastor, for example, is going to be like, the grace of Jesus. And, and you're like, okay, are you trying to live in Jesus's image? Hopefully the pastor will say, no, I'm trying to be King Solomon because he was fucking hoes and making cash. Then you're like, I, I've got no comeback. But yeah. if you're trying to be Jesus, yeah. that nigga was like almost walking barefoot, mm -hmm. riding donkeys, going out there to speak to the people. He wasn't collecting cash. He wasn't building churches. He wasn't whatever. So they just need to be very clear about what it is that they're saying. That's why I'm trying to be clear about what I'm doing. And if ever I get to a point where I start wanting to make money, I want to be very clear that I'm making money. I don't want my followers to ever be confused. Mm -hmm. And if people are like, Lungala, why do you follow this crazy guy? You realize he's taking your money. Mm -hmm. You're like, yes. He mm -hmm. tells me that he's taking my money and I give it to him because I want to. It's my money. Because your money, you don't have to give to him. Because there's absolutely nothing wrong with giving money to something you feel feeds your life. 100%. Yeah? 100%. As you're saying, these pastors, if a person gives their 10 rand, but feeling that this person makes me hold when they speak. Yeah. Their speaking ability resonates within me. It fixes me emotionally. Yeah. It helps me through mental breakdowns. It, it just does a lot for me. Yeah. Then it's fine to give them my money. But then there's a notion, there's documentaries on Netflix everywhere that says cults are there to destroy people. Peño, you are then, if we go along that narrative, you are destroying people. Yeah, I'm gonna... What's it? Jonestown. Jim Jones. Yes. Uh... He created his own little Orania mm -hmm. in America. And apparently, like, people took poison and they killed themselves, of which I don't believe that story. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there are stories like that one, like landing on the moon, that I don't believe in, personally. Uh, I don't want to speak about COVID. We might get cancelled. Um, <laughs> YouTube might delete the video. Jeez, YouTube might delete the video. Jeez. Um, I want to think of how to answer you. Jim Jones cult. How is your cult not killing people? Because you said you are, you've just confidently said you are building a cult. Ah, there's something I wanted to say and I think it's escaped me. Ah, will we speak about the pastors? Yes. The church. What I wanted to speak about was I think the power of language mm -hmm. and story. Mm -hmm. And I spoke about obviously conspiracies, Jonestown. There's other cults, so to speak. There are obviously people that are constantly at war. And I think the greatest war, T.D. Jakes has got a great speech on this. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a great war on the mind, on minds. And there are people that supposedly run the world. And they don't like it when people like myself are trying to unplug others. Okay. So the best thing they'll do is they'll try and spin certain stories. And they've realized that you don't have to kill people anymore. You can just discredit them. Uh, these five girls have said that Penol has raped them, whatever the case may be, or apparently he's not providing for his kids, and then they discredit me, which is why I, I think the, uh, the, the funny part is, the, or the dangerous part is getting my followers to completely believe in me. Because when those stories come out, they'll be like, we believe Penol no matter what, mm -hmm. even if I've done them. But the battle is actually for minds. I remember what I wanted to say. I wanted to speak about motivational speakers and I think politicians. I found myself, and pastors, I found myself having to defend politicians, motivational speakers, pastors as well, because I used to judge them. These guys are only about making money. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are only about themselves, whatever. And looking at what they've done, I think this probably also answers the previous question. People pay Beyonce to perform music. Mm -hmm. People pay absurd a school, amounts. Absurd, absurd, absurd amounts. Yeah. People pay uh, schools to teach them. People pay to watch stand-up 